Rick and Morty Season 8 is overdue to revive as Storyline Season 7 forgot. Although Rick and Morty Season 7 was a fun outing, Season 8 needs to bring back one major storyline that the series has seemingly forgotten about. C-U-M-M-A-R-E, Rick and Morty Season 8 may revisit Beth and Space Beth's relationship, adding new depth to the characters and their dynamic. Season 7 largely ignored this subplot, but the potential for conflict and growth between Jerry, Beth, and Space Beth still exists. While the focus in Season 8 may be on Rick and Morty's misadventures, exploring the evolving relationships of supporting characters adds depth. While Rick and Morty Season 7 ignored one subplot for its entire run, Season 8 is now perfectly poised to revisit this storyline. Rick and Morty is not a serialized show, most of its outings are episodic adventures with standalone plots, so it is striking when the series focuses on its broader canon. Usually this happens in season finals. Sometimes, though, episodes of Rick and Morty have depicted events that the next episode continued, such as Beth and Jerry's divorce in early season three. Although this twist was later undone, it was a case of the show altering its status quo. While Rick and Morty season eight could bring the subject up again, Beth and Jerry rarely address their temporary separation within the show. The event did still have a meaningful impact on their personalities, subsequently reshaping their character arcs. The same is true for the destruction of the central finite curve in the season five final. While the titular Dew's ability to jump between dimensions was reintroduced in season six, the dynamic between Rick and Morty's main characters was altered. Morty's rose-tinted view of his flawed grandfather was permanently changed by his grim discovery. Rick and Morty Season 7 forgot Beth and Space Beth's relationship. Beth started an affair with her clone in Season 6. Similarly, Beth and Jerry's new marriage is very different from their original union. In Season 6, Episode 5, Bethic Twinstinct, Jerry, Beth, and Space Beth entered into a complicated dynamic after Beth and Space Beth started an affair. Since Rick and Morty Season 7's Rick Prime plot required most of the show's focus when it came to character work, this development was largely ignored in that outing. However, Jerry, Beth, and Space Beth are presumably still in a polyamorous relationship, even if this dynamic hasn't been addressed since the events of Season 6. In Bethic Twinstinct, Beth fell for her clone Space Beth and reasoned that having sex with her own clone didn't constitute cheating since they were basically the same person. Jerry was initially hurt when he discovered this betrayal and the stage seemed set for a repetition of Beth and Jerry's temporary separation. However, Jerry, Space Beth, and Beth all ended up engaging in a twisted threesome that while it made the rest of the family embarrassed, seemingly solved their problems. That said, Space Beth was still seen living with the Smiths in Season 7. Rick and Morty Season 8 can revisit this storyline. Season 7 didn't devote any episodes to Beth, Space Beth, and Jerry. Although Space Beth wasn't present in every episode, she did appear in Episodes 1, 5, 6, and 10. This makes it clear that Space Beth is always welcome in the Smith family home, which means Rick and Morty Season 8 can address the strange dynamic between Morty's parents and his mother's clone. Jerry and Beth's relationship, which was originally built on Beth's disdain for her weak-willed husband and Jerry's resentment of her idolizing her father, Rick, has improved considerably in recent seasons. As such, it would be interesting to see whether Space Beth has changed this dynamic. Jerry could be as happy with two versions of Beth as he was with one, and Beth might be able to have her cake and eat it too. However, the tenuous state of Jerry and Beth's marriage means Space Beth could easily disrupt their relationship, and if the couple has found a way around this issue, it would be interesting to see what this arrangement was. Season 7 largely forgot about Jerry, Beth, and Space Beth, turning them into static characters who existed only as supporting stars in Rick and Morty's stories. Yet Bethic Twinstinct proved they can be more than that. Why Rick and Morty Season 8 might steer clear of Beth and Jerry. More solo episodes for Rick and Morty means less screen time for their family. Since Rick and Morty messing with its premise doesn't always end well, there is a good chance that Season 8 will still steer clear of Beth, Jerry, and Space Beth's relationship. After all, the trio are seemingly happy and Season 7 just started giving Rick and Morty entire solo episodes of their own. 
As such, the creators may want to focus more on Morty's burgeoning independence and less on his family's problems. That said, the series shouldn't ignore Space Beth, Jerry, and Beth entirely. In its early seasons, Rick and Morty rarely developed Beth and Jerry beyond their characterization as a knave doting daughter and a henpecked husband. In contrast, season six proved that both characters had unexpected depths and their messy relationship got an upgrade thanks to some surprising experimentation. Season eight shouldn't ignore their changing dynamic entirely for the sake of prioritizing Rick and Morty's misadventures. Instead, the show should give these three characters the story focus that they have deserved since season six. In the process, Rick and Morty could make its supporting characters feel more human and three-dimensional, 